another video for you guys on here to make a video about uh i really haven't made a video in a while because i'm a little stressed right now you know with the with the, with the, with the female playing the music next door and this irs and uh my mama and ed june situation so i haven't, haven't made to make a video so but you know i'm back you know it seems like to me my life is like in chaos right now as a black man living in tfl you know living in tfl you know it's just chaos man i've been living in chaos all week long you know just a hell week you know i can't i can't take a break from me i can't really do anything you know i really can't so you know it's just been chaos man it's been chaos for me you know and that's that's the reason why i've been i, I have not been able to make YouTube videos, so, you know, because I live, you know, I've been going to, going to, to so much chaos in, in, in all days. So let's get into this video, you know, I'm doing a video about, um, about, um, Project Pet, you know, I haven't, I'm talking, I'm gonna do a video about these rappers, you know, of course you don't know who Project Pet is, you know, Project Pet, is a rapper from um, Memphis, Tennessee. You know, I, Memphis, Tennessee. He's he's formerly of, of hypnotized mind. You know, he's formerly of hypnotized Ken Posse. You know, you know, with DJ Paul, Juicy J, and he's Juicy J's brother. He he's he he he's he's Juicy J's formerly of Two Six Mafia's brother. You know, he been with him throughout the years. You know, he started his career back in 1994. Project Pet has. You know, but he went to jail. Prior, prior to after that, 94, I think because of gun charges or something like that back in 94, something like that. But he went back to jail back in 2001, same thing with the with the gun charge, you know, back in 2001. You know, then he, he would leave laying the smack down prior to that. So, but he's one of my favorite rappers, straight, straight up out of hypnotized minds, but he's not with them anymore so he's still you know still rapping to the fullest you know he still got that gangster wisdom in him but from hypnotized minds back in the day you know he's one of my favorite rappers out of hypnotized minds so you know i've been listening i've been listening to project pet ever since year 2000 you know when i first bought that ghetto green album that ghetto green album which i got by the way you know i got to see them and the single is all in there. It's called Ballers. We on some Twinky Twinky. It's featuring Gangsta Boo. Then he did. Then he did. He did. A, he did a song with um with Chicken Heads. Don't save her. Oh, Mister, don't play like from Make They A Clap. Like from Lane the Smackdown, and from Crook by the Book Fair Store when he got out of jail. He he did a CD called Crook. By the book Fair Store, you know, which was song that he came out with called uh, Googly Moogly, straight out of straight from the project, you know, Tell Tell Tell, and Googly Moogly. I said Googly Moogly, and Googly Moogly was one of them. That was it, you know. Then he came out with with Walking Bankroll, you know, came out 2007 on the Cook Records. You know, I've got the other song called, you know. You know, he 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 it features three six mafia on the on the song, so you know, but he did um real recognize real with he did a song with OJ the Juice Man, the single. Then he did the the after he came out with um the album that he came out twenty eleven, I forget what it called, you know, the Loud Pack, yeah, Loud Pack that C D as well. But I ain't got his twenty fifteen album because it really wasn't what, what wasn't worth listening. I guess he was doing it for the younger generation. Mr. Don't Play Part 2 for the younger generation. He came up with numerous of mixtapes and stuff, you know, called Cheese and Dough Part 1, Part 2, Part 3, Part 4, etc. You know, Project Pet has been doing this for a while. You know, he's been doing this. You know, he, he's he been doing, he, he got that. He was a part of 36 Mafia sitting on some scissor up and stuff, you know, doing the chorus. He wasn't rapping, but he was doing the Doing the hook or the similar and similar song, you know. He he did a lot of stuff, you know, over the years that I grew up listening to him and stuff like that, you know. He was on choices to move it. He he was on one. He was on the first one, not the second one. He was on the first. He was on church choices one, 
Ooh, what's a good movie, by the way? I got the movie called Choices. One with Project Pitt was playing the bad guy, you know. And then all of the members died, you know, including DJ Paul, DJ J and LeChet and stuff. But Project Pitt come out with some good flows, man. Every time I listen to his music, he, all, he always get that. He, he, his lyrics off the chain, you know. His lyrics is off the chain. Especially that song called... Um, so high, you know, featuring Lord Infamous. You know, I like that song, you know, So High and good song and it was a good song, you know, to hear. You know, like I said, I've been listening to Project Pit for a while. You know, and him and Juicy J and DJ Paul would edit in beats. Like it was nothing. Every time I listen to a Project Pet song, it gets me oozed up. You know, it gives me oozed up because I grew up listening to him. And stuff like that, you know, he's a good rapper, you know, he's real talented. And a lot of people never give him praise, and a lot of people never, never give him praise because of that situation. You know, and stuff like that, so. But he's a good artist, you know, he is a good artist, you know, worth listening. He's a good artist, man, you know. He's a good artist, Project Petty is, he's a good artist. Straight out of Memphis, you know, but a lot of people saying that he's not from him, I guess. I guess my brother told me that he was from Cordova somewhere, Germantown. But I, I think Project Pet, I don't know where he's from. I don't know, you know, because I just, I just, I, every time I hear his songs, you know, he, 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 he says that he's from North Memphis. But some people say that, you know, he's from, he's from Cordova or Germantown, such, such. You know, he grew up in the suburbs, such, such, him and Juicy J and something like that in that particular. But... You know, Padre Pet's like one of my favorite rappers from Hypnotized Minds, you know, but he's doing his own thing now and stuff with with um with Don Vito and um I can't give it this other guy's name, you know, King I think King um somebody, he's doing his own thing with other people. So, you know, but I think I'm gonna do enough for this video about him because you know, when Project Pet first came on the scene, he was he was on he was on Juicy J's, you know, tapes back in the day. You know, you can hear it for yourself, but you hear some of his uh, Project Pet's older songs, but way before in in the nineties on Juicy J's solo tapes and stuff. You know, I think he came up with a solo tape. I think you know, Murs and Roberts. You know, Murs and Roberts is not really Project Pet second now, but it's, it's some stuff that they, that he did. In the night before he got in a pen on Juicy J's tapes and stuff, so you know you can you can hear that stuff out on Murders and Robbers and stuff. Walking through your dome, what was a good song? But he did a remix on um on Real Recognize Real, that so, which is a good song by the way. So, but anyway, you know, Project Pet went to jail like two times already, but. He's out, so I'm glad he's out. I hope he stays out of jail, too. I hope he does stays out of jail, for real. Because jail, prison is not no joke. You know, I hope he stays out of there and make good music. But anyway, but this is Justin Williams. You know, feel free to rate, comment, subscribe, and add me on Facebook. I'm out. Peace.